Hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Hello, Cancerians. This is going to be for March because I didn't get to do your February reading. So you guys are first for March because you were very next on the list for February. I don't believe in accidents either. So here we go. This is for Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Cancerian. Wow, first card is Candle. And then the Fog. Fog is like confusion and mystery and something is hidden. But the Candle is all about guidance and clarity. You know, it reminds me of um, the song, I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all obstacles in my way open road new beginnings clean slate journey yes yes it's a new road that opens up for you so there's clarity the path has been illuminated the choice has been made maybe for some of you guys you were like really confused about something and you just couldn't quite see it for what it was Something becomes very clear. Now, Cancerians, although they are a water sign, <clears throat> can tend to be indecisive. I said what I said, and what I said was, you guys can be indecisive. Especially Cancerian men. Hold on, I gotta change the blinds already. especially a lot of Cancerian men, they can be extremely indecisive. So if there was indecision and confusion here, there is no longer. However, that's gonna to relate to your story. You have poison. So yeah, something toxic is cleared out. Could have been a block. And now you have the white roses, which is purity, innocence, young love. It's like some of you were dabbling in something that wasn't the healthiest for you. The cross, prayer, religion, and faith. It's like you get something that you always wanted that you deserve. It's a prayer answered. There's something here about a prayer. They heard your prayer. They heard your prayer. Stained glass window. It's religious again. Then the church. Wow, everything screams religion. Religious. This could be wedding, marriage, a prayer. Someone's faith. Someone held on to something, their faith in something. High Priestess, Secrets, Intuition, Divine Feminine, and the Rainbow. A miracle, God's promise. It's like a fucking answered prayer. I don't give a shit if you're not religious. Listen, for most of us, we're spiritual, not religious. But do we believe in a higher power? So whether you call it God, whether you call it source, whether you call it universe, I don't give a shit. Prayer is the same thing as making a wish. It's the same thing as law of attraction. It's just a muggle term. Someone's wish here is granted. Jeez. A prayer is answered. Eight of Pentacles. Something with career. You've been working on something? Yep, Three of Pentacles. You've been working on something. Something with career. It could be like your prayer is answered in money. To a pentacle watch well, all fucking pentacles and the chariot that's you guys cancerians something is coming in there's a breakthrough if if there was unsteady ground right like if it was a little rocky and you know things weren't necessarily steady for you financially it looks like everything is starting to come together there's a whole birth of a new fucking cycle here for you with the empress it's birth of abundance. 
two of pet see the two of swords remember i said earlier about the confusion and indecision that's over there's no more confusion here the fool and the seven of wands seven of wands is a block it's some of you were blocking yourself and some of you something was blocking you remember that poison card bit earlier This fool is taking a leap into the unknown. And I think for a lot of people, what fucked them up is the unknown. Well, but I don't know how this is going to work if I do that. Well, I don't know how this is going to work if I quit this job and start my own business. Talk about love, please. Protection. Someone here is really guarded. Spellbound. They were enchanted to meet you. I was enchanted to meet you. Independent, someone here is very, I was going to say very single. Yeah, a taboo fell right on top. Single and not necessarily looking. Single and know their worth. Divine feminine. Someone here is not going to take any shit. They're not going to accept crumbs. It's like you see the light. I mean, I don't know how else to word that, right? You see the light. You're just like, oh my God. Like, I totally fucking know what I deserve now. And it's like, ding! It's like the light bulb goes off, right? The light bulb goes off. <laughs> ding! Storm brewings. Yeah, something's coming. Some of you, it could be a love match. Secrets. You have secrets and, and protection twice. Someone's very guarded. They're not looking. Liberation. They want to be free as a bird. New discovery. Yeah, that's that light bulb moment. That's a fucking epiphany. I'm like a bird. I always fly away. Infatuation. Someone's going to be infatuated with that. That you're free like a bird that you're really independent, that you're a go-getter, that you're following your dreams. Why is that so attractive? Because we don't see it very often. You don't see a lot of people following their dreams in this day and age. A lot of people are scared, they're afraid. They're too afraid to take that, that, that leap. You have girl power, empowerment. Now someone here knows the fuck out of their worth and they just stand on it. You know what I'm saying? They stand on it. And then stimulating and elusiveness. Yeah, coming outside of your shell, being open to things that stimulate you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stimulating the body, mind, soul. Someone here wasn't very open to all this new things, elusive. They were hiding from their own potential, hiding from potential amazing suitors. Ooh, a, a visitor arrives. Yeah, something new is coming in. Friendship. Some of you could be friends. For now. Mm -hmm. Guardian angel. We've got a guardian angel here that's putting their hands in everything in a good way. Affection. They might, they might actually like give you little messages and such. You might see angel numbers, hear songs, and that's a guardian angel. But what I mean by they have their hand in stuff is they might be guiding this person to you. They might be guiding these career business opportunities to you. You also have exotic. I feel like that's the way they look at you. Remember I said earlier how it's so rare and unusual to see somebody that's like really on their shit. That's like living their dreams and being brave and courageous. It's very rare. It's very rare. They're fascinated by you. They have secret admirer and charming. I was enchanted to <clears throat> meet you. They're fascinated by you. They're, they've been charmed. They're charmed because you are unlike anybody or anything they've ever encountered. 
You know what I mean? The, you're the charmed one. You're turning heads without even realizing that you're turning heads. You are You're magnetic right now. Extremely magnetic. Because, you know, March is, I think Patty's Day is in March. So March is filled with magic and luck and auspiciousness and prosperity. And so, I don't know, you might have a really lucky March. It might be really lucky for you. In the way of... Just everything seems to start going your way. Two of Swords, again, it's so, it's all about indecision. And it's all about not knowing what to choose because I don't know how what the outcome's gonna be, so I don't know. And then we sit in a place of making no, act, taking no action, making no moves. Mm, Four of Pentacles, see, making no moves, taking no action, exactly what I said. So this is somebody getting outside of their fucking head, getting outside of their comfort zone, to say, okay, look, I don't know how this is gonna end, I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna take this leap in love or in career or business. We're not gonna leap into something where there's 17 red flags, business or love. So if something feels right and it feels good and pure and true and it feels like magic and there are no red flags, then what the fuck are you doing like overthinking and becoming your own worst enemy. See, you'd be the star, six of wands. I told you you're magnetic. Look at the ace of pentacles. When you sit, now yeah, there's a nine of cups, that's your wish granted, your prayer answered. When you are in this type of an energy, you're just free as a bird. You're like trusting your gut. You're not holding yourself back. You're being seen energetically, not physically. See how magnetic you become. Look at the treasure chest opening up, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, getting everything you want because it's just coming to you. Literally, she's hovering over the treasure chest and all of these things are coming to her. She's not chasing it. It's magnetic. She's the right vibrational match for it. Now you do have the ace of pentacles, which can be moving or career change. I mean, it could be. It could be. It's planting a seed and it's sprouting, right? And it's sort of um, growing. But see, what's deceiving about seeds is that when we plant them, it doesn't look like anything's happening because everything happens below the surface. So this feels like that kind of an energy of maybe that hidden confusion with the fog card earlier. Remember that? Where it was like hidden and it's like, well, I can't see it. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. But it's like you don't always have to know what's happening or see it to know if something's happening. Because a lot of times things happen behind the scenes or below the surface. This is huge because it's the Nine of Cups. It's getting everything you've wanted. A wish granted. A prayer answered. Something being manifested. Ace of Pentacles is also like... um. It's like a gift, like a gift from the universe, like the universe gifting you this and saying, here you go, for all your hard work, for your belief, for not giving up. It's like a bonus. Oh my God, look at her. She's like free as a bird. C'est la vie. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. That's what her energy is. C'est la vie. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. And she's living her best life and she is not doing this and holding back, right? And, and, and really restraining herself. She's sort of letting it all go and being in this gorgeous magnetic energy of love, love of self, love of life, love of the fact that there are golden opportunities coming your way. You know, it's like you're going to start to get opportunities that you prayed for before. So don't fucking clam up. 
Let's get into your extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video the word more. You're going to see all my links. Click on the first one. It'll take you to my website, saltwaterhealstarot.com. You're going to go there and look for extended readings and look for your March readings. Look, you got the two of cups bottom of the deck. Yes. It's like all your prayers and all your wishes and everything being granted and, and, and given to you all at one time. But you got to be brave. All right. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube. I'll see you in your extended. Love you.